Niggas can't tie my shoes. She's right in the building, January 20th. That's Great right. In New York, Delaware. Your mama, if you work hard, you have already said. know. All right, bro. <laughs> Promise. Hey, what, what what you looking like? Um, what can we expect, man? Like on the on the twentieth, your second pro fight. Yeah. Dang, you, you just go straight for the knockout. Now, I'm when not you, gonna go straight for it. I'm gonna give uh -huh. y'all give y'all at least a couple rounds. Okay. Might give y'all one. But if it presents itself, if it presents itself, you taking it though? Huh? Yeah, always, always. Wow. I got to, man. Like that's how I was raised, how I was fighting. That's, that's just. Like, did that carry over, like from like probably like you just. Like, yeah. like when you was in the street fighting or whatever, it was like wanting to just knock somebody head off yeah. all your might, or was it just a thing that you just like you just loved the knockout? Like you was always a fan of the knockout. I love the knockout. That's like even when you who was like fighter. your favorite fighter? Tyson. Iron Mike Tyson. Okay, Tyson. Iron Mike Tyson. That nickname followed me because I I was a new Iron Mike man. Wow. When I fought in the amateurs, I knocked a lot of dudes out. I was putting dudes down. And, you know, the thing is, I know how to box, but I got. Yeah, we see your movements, your head movements. Yeah. You can get in a tight space yeah. maneuvering. Yeah. Built for it for sure. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm ready for this man. It's yeah, gonna we, be a big knockout. We all look forward to it. Yeah, I mean, we all look forward to the out, 20 of these. And you did excellent. Oh yeah, for sure. You did excellent your first fight. You know what I mean? Yeah. The last fight you you won your first pro fight. You won by knockout in the fourth round. Yeah. So this one, we're going to try to make it a little bit faster. Let's see if we I know can get, that's right. get second or third. You know? I know that's right. Let's see. But, but definitely like, as long as you coming out, I know you coming out with that W no matter what. Just, oh, 100%. You know what I mean? 100%. Another question is like, how do you manage, man, these tough camps? Like, because you basically just did two camps back to back. Like, you just kind of welcoming it as this is, well, you always stay in shape and everything, but camps is different because it's like, you got times that you're going for six rounds it. against three different opponents, four different opponents, heavier it. opponents. I you say you just love to work. I love to work because, man, this is what I wanted since I was a kid. So I can't, I can't, I've been waiting on this since I was 16. So I can't, I can't deny that this is what I want to do. So wow. I, don't got, I don't got no problem with the training camps. Every time, it just means more work and I love it. Yeah, you live in the gym. You live in the gym. Y'all see the ring behind them. It's, a, it's my home, man. I can't. I'm here more than anything else. Make sure y'all in the building, January 20th. That's Great right. New York, Delaware. Mom, right? If you work hard, you already know. Yeah, all right, bro. <laughs> Niggas can't tie my shoes. <laughs>